And I've had a few questions, people wondering how you actually get GameCube games and Wii games on the same USB or, well, to show up on uh, the Wii so you can play either. So this is going to be done in two-part video. This is part one, how to set up your USB sticks, SSD drives or your hard drives. Uh, and then part two, separate video, will be actually how to access them uh, in the Wii and how to get them all to show up. So very first thing you want to do, of course, get yourself a USB stick. These ones are tried and proven. Get them from the warehouse or Harvey Norman anywhere. Um, now you can format to FAT32. Initially, FAT32 is going to be a safer bet to go, um, but uh, especially if you've already converted your ISO games of the um, Wii games, if you've already converted them to WBFS. Now, if you haven't actually converted your games to WBFS, or you do have still your ISO copies, uh, with the previous videos I've done, with the settings of D2X, uh, Custom iOS, and all the other settings I've done, uh, if you actually follow those settings, you can actually use a SD card or um, SSD uh, just at the file format of NTSS, uh, NTFS. Now, with NTFS, you'd still set it up the same, like your file format games. Of course, that one's for your, um, that's for Nintendo game. It's, you know, uh, your Nintendo GameCube games. Uh, so if we just go here, of course, and that'll be how you want to set it up if you're wanting to have, uh, you know, your Wii games and your GameCube games are on the same USB drive. So games, this is for your Nintendo, GameCube, WBFS file, that is for your um, for your Wii, of course. Now, uh, now, as I say, these are set up at FAT32, so I'll show you how to set it up. Of course, now if you've converted your things to WBFS, it's fine. If you haven't, what you can do is make a file, folder games, and then just put your ISO folders um, under Wii, put them in Wii games under ISO. Um, but anyway, this is for the FAT32. So these have been formatted to FAT32. Um, so this one here is just your standard you know, 32 GB stick, I think it is. Actually, let's have a quick look at the size. FAT32, size 32, what have we got? Okay, so this is a 60, 64 GB and formatted to FAT32. Okay, so you'll see here boot doll and disk info. Of course, the other two folders you're going to need, and of course, you don't actually put them here, I'll just put them here for easy showing you. Uh, but your boot doll that's the one that you want to be putting inside your games folder. Now, that's for your GameCube games. Your disk info that's the one you want to put in your WBFS folder. Uh, now, to get them, just remember Google's your friend, type in exactly what it's written there. Disk info, download, when there, boot dot doll, uh, download, type it in Google, see what comes up. Remember, Google's your friend. Right, so this is how you set up your um, USB. As I say, you don't have to put them there. Um, right, save your saves. That's actually your save folder. But anyway, there's only two saves in there, right? So games. Now, with your GameCube games, of course, you just keep them as you've as you've got them as an ISO file. All right. Now, if your games are scratched or anything, like this one must have been one of my scratch games, it's easier Vim's Lair, so that's where you can get to some of your ROMs if you've got any uh, game CDs that are scratched or, um, yeah, or if you just wanted to get a copy of um, your actual GameCube games. All right. So that's how you set it up. So that's for GameCube. You see here. Of course, you're probably wondering, oh, some people you might not know, all I've done is change the view here. Okay, just to see, I mean, if you want, you can go into details. There you go. Now it's back to the ones that, how you're going to be first setting it up. Right. As I say, so WBFS, if you look down the bottom here, you'll see the disk info. Now, you're going to need that for these games to work. All right. 
Uh, now these ones have all been configured to WBFS. See WBFS. You can watch some of my previous videos that shows you how to do that. How to convert them to WBFS. Right, and then for your games, which is your Nintendo GameCube. Of course, remember, you want the boot doll. Okay. Right, so that's basically all set up. You're ready to go. Put it in the Wii and away you go. But before we get there, uh, let's say you've got a SSD. Like, well, that's exactly what this one is, actually. This is a 200 and... Well, actually, let's have a quick look. What are we? Local F. Uh, probably is... Right, so that's a 256 GB or, 200, or 240 GB <coughs> SSD. Now you're going, well, FAT32, and you'll know on the format, if you go to access format, the drive, you won't be able to actually format. It's one that size to FAT32, and the same if you actually go into Command Prompt or Windows PowerShell, you still won't be able to uh, format it. So I'll quickly show you how you go about formatting it to FAT32. What you do is you get yourself that program there, GUI format. Type it in Google, as I said, Google's your friend, or GUI format. Okay. Right, so what that does, that'll format any drive, no matter what the size is, to FAT32. Alright, so you do a quick format, or you can do the long one. Uh, and if your drive's had a few things on it, do the long one, just to give it a clean slate. If it's a pretty, if it's a new um, USB or SSD, just do the quick format, you'll be fine. But, um, there you can label it if you want, so you know it's for your Wii games or whatever. But, right, so we're not going to worry about this. Because we've already got formatted it, of course. Let's close. Right, so now we'll go over to the Wii. As I say, it's going to be part two, so that's the end of part one. Um, and if you're wanting to actually know how to access them in the Wii system, uh, look for the next video, part two of this. How to set up your um, GameCube games and Wii games on the same hard drive and to play both. Right, I hope that's helped. And if it hasn't, and you're actually wanting it for the Wii, I would say look for part two of this video.